Hi, you guys. How are you doing today? Welcome if you are returning. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Um, if you haven't been to my channel, I am just a makeup, beauty, skincare, lifestyle type channel. I like to share the things that I like and then I like to get tips of the things that you like. So that's basically what I'm here for. My reviews are not sponsored. They are not, um, I am not you know, working with anyone, collab with anybody or anything. This is the products that I buy that I spend my hard earned money on. And I am telling you the things that I like and I don't like. So that is what you're going to get from me. Okay. Just a no nonsense. This is how I feel pretty blunt feelings of what I think of products. So, um, I have quite a few things here. So, um, I have been waiting to make some purchases and when the first amount of money came through for me to do that, I was um, actually, it was just a no brainer. I immediately typed in Blend Bunny and I went straight to her site, Maggie's site. She is the owner. Um, the orders come from El Paso, Texas, I believe it was. So it only took like three days to reach me. I know I placed the order in the middle of the night and by morning she had had it packaged and uh, sent in the mail and I received it this morning. So I just placed the order Sunday night uh, in the middle of the night and it was sent on Monday and was picked up in the evening and already received here by Thursday. So amazing shipping. I live up in Oregon, so I'm pretty close. Uh, but uh, I want to go ahead and I want to talk about the items that I did get from Blend Bunny. Everything I purchased was on sale. The first thing that I got was this $5 Blend Bunny Cosmetics eyeliner, like tiny angled liner brush. It is normally $8 and I got this for $4.50 after all the discounts. Nice and teeny tiny. And of course, um, I do not have any gel liner, liners um, or any potted liners except for one. And um, I actually don't like the formula of that one. It's the e.l.f little dip brow type one that they have and I just I'm not a big fan of it um, but I did go ahead and get their black gel liner now this also goes for eight dollars on blend bunny site and this was also on sale for five so again I got this for four dollars and fifty cents okay so we're already talking about nine dollars for um, items that would normally have cost sixteen so I've already saved seven dollars here then um, I did not use this one yet, obviously, so um, I may do a line on this after I'm done doing this video today. I haven't decided. Then I got her uh, blending brushes for the, for the eyes. Now, um, these are a gradient style brush. You get five of them. I guess the way that she starts, now this is just from what I've heard, and I'm sorry if this is not correct in any form, but uh, supposedly she starts with the darkest gradients and light, works her way to the lighter. And I either choose to either start light or dark, depending on how dark I'm going. And generally, if I'm doing like a really dark look, I start with my darker shadow first as well. Now, would I say that these are a like complete set? No, because you do not have like a flat brush for your shimmering shadows um so that is the only thing i mean you do have your finger of course which is how i generally apply my shimmers but then i will take a flat brush and just crisp out that line um so i do use the brush for that part um these brushes go for 32 dollars normally they are labeled b5 b4 b3 b2 b1 and like i said they are in a gradient style so you know which ones to grab for also i held these up to my mom who has extremely small hooded eyes and all of these fit into her eye shape extremely well i also have hooded eyes and smaller eyes and i actually found that when I tried using just these brushes today, I actually had to pull out a couple bigger brushes just for uh, a little bit of bigger fluffy blending. These were amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is the biggest one right here. Uh, absolutely fabulous blending brushes. Another thing, between the shadows and the brushes, holy cannoli, these things practically were blending themselves out. I was so incredibly impressed with the formula of the mats by Blend Bunny. They were insanely easy to blend. Beautiful gradients. I love how she puts the uh, 
gradient of colors in here. I think that's something that's very special and needed because for me personally, I like to gradiate my colors. Now, um, the first palette we are going to talk about that I received is the Makina palette. Um, Makina Machina, I'm not sure exactly how to say it. Now, this palette she created with her father who had cancer at the time and actually passed during the process of making this palette. Now, my father has also passed away back when I was about 21 years old. Um, and uh, he was very special to me. And actually, he had given me his one-year coin when he had gotten sober after his first year sober. I had since tossed that coin into the trash. I was a kid. I didn't know the importance of it, but then it turned out that I ended up having an addiction in my lifetime, and now I am two months away from getting that coin back, and that coin will be split between my father and I, even though he's gone, but that coin will never be gotten rid of ever again, and I did feel that I needed to earn it back. How would I have known that later on in life that I would end up with an addiction problem, and that that coin would mean so much to me, especially during the time that I did not possess it? So earning it back is so incredibly special and important to me, which in turn, just with my father being gone and the relationship that we had with each other, knowing where this palette comes from and the meaning of it behind all of it, it makes it the most special palette that I have from Blend Bunny, but also one of the most special in my entire collection now. Um, this is the Machina palette. It's got, or Machina, it's got 24 beautiful shades in it. A nice mirror, nice full-sized mirror. I used it today. I usually don't use mirrors and palettes, but this one's so nice and clear. I was happy to use it. Also, the artwork on here, this is by Lisa Staub, I guess is her name. This is a raised, uh, gradient here. The, the robot is raised and some of the flowers here are raised on it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. And then inside the magic that's in there and then for your, you know, creativity to go wild. And um, today my plan was to just go straight down this aisle right here, this, this, uh, this, this little line of uh, shadows, because this color here, Cyborg, I don't even want to swatch it to waste it. Look at that. That's what's on my eyes. It is so incredibly amazing. It shifts from this blue to purple. Ugh. It's just insane. You can see that like when I turn, it gets darker and then it gets lighter as I turn. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, um, I may put a, uh, a wing with it. I don't know. I really don't want to mess up my look for today. So, But that is, I think, the most special shade in this entire palette. Um, this is the other shades. You get one shimmer per row, and it's fine because they're so beautiful. We've got a few duochromes in here, um, a couple that are just shimmers, but they're just gorgeous. I have not even swatched this palette yet. Um, I will do that on a different day. When I do a look, I'll swatch it at that time. I'm just more doing a talk about Blend Bunny right now and showing you what I got. So we will do it a separate time. The next time I use this palette, we'll swatch it out and we'll do a look. Um, I really love both looks that Batty Bean created with this palette. They were so beautiful and kudos to her because I really want to recreate both the looks that she did, both of them. Um, they were really gorgeous. In fact, I almost did that today, but then as soon as I had this in my hand, I was just immediately inspired. And I do, I am quite inspired by this palette. I, I could think of five or six looks just right off the top of my head that I could start creating right now with this if I just had some people light out in front of me. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I could easily think of probably 10 looks that I could do with this thing. It's very inspiring to me for some reason. So, I, and I like that. I like a challenge with a palette. I like the ones that inspire me. Um, when you get one and you look at it and you're just kind of like, what do I do? You know, I, I hate that. And the one thing that's nice about Blend Bunny is that she will give you a gradient of shades. I'm going to show you that here in the Dollhouse palette. So that you get like a lighter, um, a light tone, a mid-depth, and then a deep tone. And then now this is the Dollhouse palette. I think this one is what, like 30 shades? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. This one has 30 in it. 
and this one gives you two shimmers per gradient. So you get your light, your light what row, you get your mid depth row, and then you get your deep dark. Then you get some lighter shimmers up here, and then you get some deeper shimmers right down here. I thought I was going to use this palette, but as soon as I saw the other one, I immediately used it. Now, I love a good neutral, which is why I picked this palette up. I actually had meant to get the All Done Up palette, but it was sold out. So I in turn saw that this was marked down, and I did have this one on my list of to gets. Um, I also believe that I now want their Sickly Sweet palette as well, because if these uh, mattes, if, the, if her, uh, if her, um, oh my god, I can't think of the word, um, pastels, if her pastels, which I have heard are as pigmented as they are, and that Sickly Sweet palette has a beautiful gradient, uh, in it with some really dark shades and it's also one of her palettes where she mixed all the colors up. Generally she does this kind of like look with them to make it kind of easy for other people for maybe people that are a little bit more confused or challenged but then she has done a, a couple palettes where she's mixed all the shades around and the sickly sweet is one of those that she did that with. I wish she also still had the surge palette and of course the um, sugar and grunge. I don't think sugar and grunge is necessarily one that I would have bought but uh, Surge, I definitely would have bought, but it's not for sale anymore. So I did miss out getting that. Um, again, these ones are beautiful. They're all named after like dolls. Like there's mannequin, glass eyes, lace, pretend, tool, pin girls. Just the cutest little names in this one. <clears throat> I'm not sure other than dolls being like the idea for this one. But I really do like colors that are just a couple shades, you know, close to your skin tone because I really feel that those can sometimes be the colors that look the absolute best on you. Now this is a fun look today. Do I think this is the best look for me or the most uh, complimenting for me? Absolutely not, but it's a fun look and I really had a lot of fun putting this look together today. Now those are the only two actual eyeshadow palettes that I got from Blend Bunny, but I did go ahead and pick up the Forget Me Not. Oh, I'm sorry. This palette generally goes for $45, but you guys, it's limited now. I think what's left in stock and then she's done with this one, okay? So if you want this palette, it's on sale right now for $20. And then if you use somebody's code, you can pick this palette up for $18 right now. Uh, shipping is only $6 for your order for standard shipping. Now this dollhouse palette was $45 normally and I picked it up for $35. This one has 30 shades in it compared to the 24. Now this palette, the Forget Me Not, is a versatile eye and face palette that she did. I kind of like that this one opens up like a book. I just kind of like that. In fact, I really wish more palettes did that because it really makes it just easy to hold. I really like that and it would be easy to use the mirror. That's one thing I really like about this one and the mirror is nice and huge in this one. I really like the mirrors that she puts in them. Look at that. Huge, nice, very clear mirror. Um, now this palette has four highlights down on the bottom. Then you've got a couple of powders up here, like a brightening powder and then like a pink powder. And then maybe I'm thinking this one is either be a powder or a uh, um, contour here because you can tell here that these are some contour shades that we have going on and then there may be either some either some bronzer and then some of these could be for your eyebrows or for liners um, say you want a brown or a black liner on your eye so it's just a multi face palette and also eyeshadows I don't wear a lot of great eyeshadows but I could definitely I could definitely make a few eye looks with this definitely you know you could do a smoky eye with this and it'd be very nice um, I did swatch out these uh, highlighters down here, and they're pretty. Not my typical uh, that I go for, but I didn't mind them. I'm not as much of a fan of this uh, silver down here, but I did enjoy these these two the best right here. Um, obviously, I did not use this palette today because I went with almost all creams on my face. Plus, I thought I had to work at one today, and I didn't know until 11.45 that I worked at three. So we don't know until we call in an hour and 15 minutes before our shift. So I found out that um, I don't work until later. So this one generally goes for $44 and it was on sale for $20 as well. And I got this one for $18 also. Okay. So $18, 18 
35. Then, remember these were both eight normally. I got them for $4.50 a piece. The brushes are normally $32. I got them for 20, well, 18 actually. Then I had to, I could not not do it, okay? I had to buy both cheek palettes, the neutral one and the juicy cheek palette. These I literally inhaled when I opened this one and I did gasp when I opened the juicy one. I was like, <gasps> and then on this one I had exhale. I was like, <gasps> oh. I was so excited because I love blush. Blush is one of my most favorite things. I have already purchased 46 blush alone this year in 2024. 46 blush already this year alone in 2024, including these 16, well, in addition now to these 16, bumping it up to 64 blush already this year if you want to count it singly by the way if you want a breakdown i paid 80 cents per shadow at this price and i paid 51 cents per face slash cheek color and four dollars and 16 cents per brush this is the bare cheeks palette by blend bunny of course i love the beautiful lacy detail looks very similar well you know, I really like the nice feminine look that it has, like with the forget-me-not. I think they just kind of, you know, are nice together. I like this nice light. And they're just cardboard packaging. I do love Blend Bunny's little uh, bees that they do. I think they're really cute. Now, I do still want a couple other eyeshadow palettes from Blend Bunny. I really want Surge more than anything. Um, but I do want the for, uh, uh, All Done Up palette which they had just put back in stock, but I opted for everything that was on sale. Also, I was going to get some of their lip oils, but they were no longer on sale. So, oh, and the Noctilucent highlighter palette was the number one item on my list from Blend Bunny. And like three or four days after she, uh, after, after, when I finally got my money, it was three or four days after she had knocked it back up to $40 from being marked down to $25. So I held off since the All Done Up and Knocked Loose and Highlighter palette were full price. That's $76. I'm going to wait until they have a chance to go on sale. Um, maybe I will pick them up around uh, um, Black Friday. Um, now the Blend Bunny uh, Bare Cheeks Face Palette. Gorgeous, eight colors. Look at this. Like, how fun is this? How great are these colors? You've got some browns, you know, some a nude and like a brown. I love brown blush. You've got some purples. You've got a really like, um, all of these up here are very muted, which is good because I look the best in muted shades because I'm an autumn. Um, We've got a couple of purples. We've got another little purple here. We've got this really fun, punchy, like watermelon cherry color almost. Look at that. And then we've got this up here, kind of like a peachy, corally type shade. Beautiful. And again, this one here, this kind of orangey shade. Love, love, love. Of course, I mean, there's more to swatch. We'll do that as sometime. When we're playing with this again, maybe, I, well, you know, other people have done that, you know, other people have already swatched, like, done cheek swatches of these. They're just not new. The newest item here is actually this palette, and it's seven months old. But that's the newest product of all these. Look at that cyborg shimmer just from when I wiped it off on my finger. Look at my, my little washcloth here. I mean, it's just so bright. It's just shining sitting over here. And then the Juicy Cheeks face palette. Mm, this is all me because I love blush. This is also perfect for the summertime. The other one's great for like mature, look in your best, your best colors. You know, when you want to look your best and you want to look like you know what you're doing with your makeup and like you've got your best colors on. You want to look your best. Um, this is for fun. And... I love to have fun with my makeup, but check this out. Oh. 
I'm in love. I don't know how I'm ever going to quit pulling this out, but I love that I got 16 wonderful punchy blushes. I put on this shade and then I put a little of this. So this is what's right here. And then uh, it did come up a little bit higher, but then I put this shade up a little bit higher to kind of blend down into it. So I've got a little semi gradient going on. That's what I have on for blush today. I wanted to keep it semi towards the back because it's, the eye was so bright. So I wanted my lip and my cheek to be a little bit more, you know. That's the one I have on today. Those are the two I put on today. It's gorgeous. And let's go ahead and swatch this pretty purple, lavendery purple right there. Ooh. And then let's go ahead and do this mouth watering shade. Like, look at that. Like, how fun is that? Oh, my gosh. And a yellow blush. If you've never worn a yellow blush, try it. Yellow or, like, orange like this. They're gorgeous. They really are. They're beautiful on you. So, especially for me, for, like, my warm skin tone, um, I, a lot of times, like to... And look at that. Look at how pigmented that is. I have to wash that. Um, <laughs> this was my brand new one, too. Uh, not brand new. I mean, it's an old washcloth, but it was clean just washed we'll say that so fabulous now these generally go for shoot I'm on the phone um, okay so these generally go for $25 because I know that I paid $22.50 for them and um, no 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 they were on sale I think these might be 32 normally. I'm not sure you guys, but I paid 22.50 for them. And so that was 45 for the two of them, but I got 16 blush shades. And like I said, I paid 51 cents a shade at that price and 80 cents per shade in the others. So um, that is everything that I got from Blend Bunny. I'm absolutely thrilled. So excited. I am glad I made the purchase. No part of me is uh, unhappy with the purchase or regrets any bit of it. And I only spent, so I spent, so I did make one mistake. I had to place two orders because I had put everything in the cart, except somehow when I had looked up the brushes, I didn't actually add them to the cart. I guess I had only looked up the you know, the description of them, and then I hadn't actually put them in the cart. So then I realized that I needed to place a second order. So um, I did that, and I used Batty Bean's code. I used her code for everything was already on sale, and then I got an extra 10% off on top of the sale. Yeah, so I think what these were was 32 and they were on sale for 25 and then I got an extra 10% off paying 22.50. So I paid like I got them for like 9.50 off. Um so um the second order, my second order ended up being $24 because the shipping was $6 for the brushes and then the 18 for these and then the other order was 131 like something and change and Again, $6 of that was in shipping. So whether you order one item or you order a bunch of items, and that is for their standard shipping, um, either way, you're going to get um, $6, whether you buy one item or a bunch of items. So that's something that I like as well. Um, you did seem to pay for shipping regardless, no matter what, even if you had made it to an amount. I didn't happen to see that anyway. But I'll tell you what, for it being $6, I mean, I'm willing to pay like the $12 shipping that Unearthly charges, but they send their stuff protected so well. And that was something that I really appreciated. Another thing that I appreciated was how much protection that everything came in. So not only did everything come in its own little box, okay? So everything came in its own box, but on top of that, everything came in its own slip. And on top of its own slips, then there was extra 
put in here for more protection so that nothing even slid around in the box. Everything was snug in there. And then the best thing that I thought was brilliant that uh, Maggie did was she put stickers on everything that said, please handle with care, glass inside, thank you. And that was really cool because then they are thinking there's glass in there and I, not one of my shades came cracked, smushed, nothing. It was all in perfect shape. So I'm extremely happy with the shipping. The best shipping I've ever seen is Unearthly. They actually put, give you a box and it's got like hard styrofoam around it. And they're like these beautiful little boxes that look exactly like the palettes. But you can actually store like, I use them for storing like jewelry or this or that. And they're really cute little boxes that look just like the palettes. So when you get cool artwork, that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so that is everything. I am so super excited. Thank you, Maggie, for everything. You have beautiful stuff and I love what you're doing. I can't wait to buy more of your beautiful work. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.